Hello and welcome to part 29 of Web Intersect, where we're learning how to create a PHP and MySQL based community social networking type website from scratch. Yes, and we're 29 lessons deep now. So what I'm going to do is get finished with this lesson, and I'm going to wrap up the whole package that I have, just change my connection data in my script, and re release the whole source file, and you can find it here. Free source package, you click that, and it'll be uh, version 1.1, which will include 28 and 29. Then, next week, I'm going to create an HTML-based header, get rid of this Flash header, and show people how to do that because I've had a lot of requests on uh, a lot of people just don't want to use flash and sometimes I don't blame them and a lot of people have turned away from learning this system because of this flash header being in place and let me just tell you now it's a whole lot easier doing it all HTML and CSS it's harder doing it with flash so I just want to note that because a lot of people you know they bash the system for what it is but I thought I would throw a little bit of flash in it just to get you guys a little more dynamic in the tools that you program with okay so now what I'm gonna do in this lesson is show you how to create a random member display instead of showing all your newest members which is usually very bland those members never really have any activity yet they don't have any pictures usually so my script is gonna show you how to show as many random members as you want from your database and make sure they have a picture if they don't have a picture and it's that default site uh, default member picture they won't show up here so it's very important you might want your site to look a little more colorful and have more pictures instead of all of those default member pics laying in there so that's what we'll show you how to do in this lesson okay so I made it in such a way to where you can use either mode if you want to use the show newest members or if you want to use show random members that only have picture script you can do that so let's go ahead and open Dreamweaver let's uh, open the web intersect let's go to desktop web intersect and then we have uh, the root and inside of the root directory of the web intersect files let's open the index page and let's also open my new script. It's in the scripts folder, and that's where you'll find it in the source package. And it's called Homepage Random Members. Let's open that up. First, let's look at the home page. On the index page, you can see in the programming that I commented out the whole section that says gather all the members for temporary display. Now we're gonna we limit that by 12, and we were showing all the newest members we're ordering by ID descending that would effectively show all your newest members and since I wanted to show only members with pictures and only members and randomize them sorry I wanted randomized display with only members with pictures so that's what I built a little script to do that and the way you put it in is you just include it into this page right here scripts see where it's referring to the scripts folder home page underscore random members dot php so it loads all of that code and this is very handy showing you guys how to make things a little more modular and a little more separated out that way when when bad things occur in scripts you know exactly where to go to fix things and you know you can just it's just a whole lot easier to change it's a little more object oriented but it's not oop it's not exactly oop but it's it's a little along the lines of oop okay so let's look at the home page random member script now and I'll explain that to you <clears throat> it's really short and sweet and effective what we do in that script is first we start the member display list variable oh yeah and in the home page where right there member display list you see that variable you won't find that variable anywhere on the index page. It's on the home page random member script. See? Member display list. And then you have uh where to go? Da -da 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 -da. Member display list, right there. That's where it feeds in from this included file. So we start that variable right here. We started with the table that we want to use and the styling on that table. And we just open the first table row. 
and then we close the variable there. Then we run the SQL statement, or the SQL query, rather, that, um, and by the way, these, the script is now, the whole system is now PHP 5 ready, because I switched the server over to PHP 5, and a few bugs arose, I squished them, and I made the whole system PHP 5 ready, so it works in PHP 4 and PHP 5 now, with the remember me system and all of that good stuff. Okay, so what we do is we run the SQL query, and after we run the query, we, want, we run the while loop for the MySQL fetch array for all the data that we queried. So we're selecting ID and first name from my members table where email activated is one. We want to make sure they're activated. Order by RAND. You see how you can just stick in the RAND right there in the SQL query. That is SQL. Okay? So it gives you a randomized SQL return. And with that return, you run the while loop on it. And in the while loop, you'll notice that we gather a few of the fields that we need. The ones that we claimed in the query, ID and first name, right there, ID, first name. And then I just used the substring, substring method on the, or function, PHP function, on the first name variable to cut it down to 10 characters long and no more. Because I didn't want it messing up my display, so if everybody's name is any more than 10 characters, it just gets cut off at 10 and uh, you might not want to do that. You can just remove this line completely and it won't do that. And then we set condition to see if they are my favorite kind of peeps with picks. So check pick. We run the ID variable right here to go into their folder and see if they have this image sitting there. And if they don't, then uh, right here is the condition that says if file exists, check pick then we put them in the display list. But before that, we run an if statement that says if i equals greater than 13. Actually, you can limit. You can just limit right here. Type in limit 12. If you set limit 12 right there, you wouldn't even need that if condition right there. This if condition, that and this closing bracket for that if condition could go away. But I'm going to leave mine like this. Or actually I might put the limit in. Who knows. Whatever you get in the source package, I've explained both methods, so yada yada. Okay, so now if file exists, check pick. Then and only then of these random members that we've queried will we throw them into the display list. And what happens is in that table row see where is it D -d 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 -d. yep in that table row we're setting table columns so here we just put the user pick like the image tag and everything and the whole image tag with their dynamic uh, ID in there into this little variable called user pick and that's used right here see but really this is the line that renders the magic it, it renders each table column for each of these results in the loop. So I'm going to get 12 results and each one is going to render out a table column within this one table row. And inside of the table column there's this div that styles the height. So if somebody uploads a picture that's really high in proportions to its width then it gets cut off. That way our display isn't all jumbled up and messed up. And overflow is set to hidden to hide that extra uh, portion of their picture. And then we just set the link to their profile, close up the div, close up the table column, and that is it. And then at the very end, outside of the loop, we close off the table row and the table. And that will give you a nice table with one row in it with 12 just like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. One row, 12 columns, have a wall. So what I'm going to do is put this into, and we use the I++ method here, which would not even be needed if I use my limit. So I might leave it like this, which works, but it's not really optimized. If we use limit here, limit 12, 
then it will be optimized and then I can remove this and the eye I wouldn't need it okay so I'm gonna package up the whole system change my connection data from my database that's really all I need to change and get the whole source package that I'm working with on the site live that's running beautifully I'm gonna just package it all up put it in part 1.2 so we'll have download version 1.2 which will cover 1 through 29 and then next week we're gonna make this an HTML header and before I go in the forums Valerie who is awesome contributed a script and snippet of friend system it's powerful you guys want stuff like that you know myspace facebook uh, youtube friend type systems she built one and i haven't looked at it yet but you can uh... you can download it she put the link right here so if you want a friend system for your community website valerie has produced that for you guys and you guys should give her a big thanks if you use it okie dokie we'll see you next lesson